And now to the violence in the Caribbean. Haiti's police has launched a counteroffensive, killing at least two gang leaders in a span of 24 hours. During the operation, a gang leader named Ernst Jume was killed in Port-au-Prince. Now, Jume was the leader of a faction called Delmas 95 and a close aide of the man who started the entire chaos, Jimmy Chedizier. Now, Jume's death is a major setback for Chedizier and his gangs, as Jume joined Chedizier's war only recently after a jailbreak. Jume had been tasked with the takeover of posh neighborhoods in Haiti's capital. Now, Chedizier has vowed to avenge the death of his trusted aide. The former cop turned gang leader has threatened to increase the intensity of violence. Meanwhile, the international community has stalled its promised intervention in Haiti. And moreover, the transition council that was meant to take over after the prime minister Ariel Henry's resignation is facing a roadblock. The nine member council had been finalized by the, neighbor, the neighboring Caribbean nations and the United States, but now there are reports of a political divide in the Caribbean community as they fail to agree on a new leader for Haiti. However, Washington has said that the formation of the Transition Council is nearing completion. I understand that Haitian stakeholders are very close to finalizing membership and remain in active discussions with CARICOM leaders as it, make, as it, as it relates to the makeup of the Transitional Presidential Council. However, Shadizia's gang says that they will not allow the Transition Council to govern Haiti. We don't recognize the CARICOM meetings. We don't recognize the UN Security Council meetings. We don't recognize the body group meetings. We don't recognize the meetings held at the White House. Haiti's destiny has already been made and is not part of any of these groups. Now, as the fighting escalates, nations, including France and Germany, have begun rescuing their citizens from Haiti. India, too, has launched an operation with support from the Dominican Republic. Meanwhile, Washington continues to provide aid and relief for Haitians as calls for action grow in the United States. It's in our backyard, uh, and many of the residents of Haiti uh, are from New York City, from Miami, and from other parts of the Americas. And it's imperative that we have an immediate response. Uh, we cannot ignore it and act like it is not taking place. There are immediate things we can do right now. Stop the flow of guns, stop the deportation, give the expertise on how to stabilize the community and give the resources that are needed at this time. Now, with no sight of the transition council, Shadizia and his gangs have the upper hand while the people of Haiti feel let down both by their government and the international community.